Pain management is a severely underutilized strategy for IV insertion in the adult population. Since pain is such a strong factor in conditioning, it can actually cause PTSD-like symptoms in some people, particularly those who are frequently in the hospital for chronic conditions. We of course won't be able to implement these strategies in emergency situations, but when we do have the time, we need to do everything we can to reduce the pain associated with venipuncture in order to prevent these stress responses. Minimizing pain has also been shown to lead to quicker, more successful IV insertions and blood draws, reduces anxiety in those who have a fear of needles, and of course increases patient satisfaction. Topical anesthetics like Emla, LMX, or Amatop can be used to numb the area to be used for venipuncture. Clinical studies have shown LMX and Amatop to be more effective than Emla, and LMX doesn't cause mild vasoconstriction that Emla can, though most facilities only have Emla. Start by looking for appropriate vessels and choose two sites to apply anesthetic, just in case you need to make a second attempt. Apply the cream and cover with a transparent dressing for 30 to 45 minutes. This should result in effective numbing of the area for up to six hours. If we want something with a much quicker onset, intradermal lidocaine has been shown to be effective, but can cause vasoconstriction in some cases, and the pain of lidocaine injection often outweighs the benefit of it. You can find buffered lidocaine, which doesn't cause the typical burning sensation because the pH is balanced, but it has a much shorter shelf life, so many facilities won't carry it or compound it in the pharmacy for the purpose of pain control, as it's not cost effective. Bacteriostatic saline injection also has a numbing effect with little pain associated with administration, though some patients may have allergies or reactions to either of these medications. Always check with patients and make sure they don't have allergies or previous reactions to any medication you plan to use for pain reduction, and always obtain the necessary orders before administration. To administer an interdermal anesthetic, first apply your tourniquet, find your vein, and mark its location. Remove the tourniquet and cleanse the site. Draw your medication up in a 1 mil syringe with a small needle. 27 gauge or smaller is best, as our goal is to minimize pain. A tuberculin syringe works well for this. You'll typically only need about 0.1 ml, though your orders or policies may vary. Stretch the skin tight under your site, being careful not to contaminate it. Insert your needle at 5 to 15 degrees, just under the first few layers of skin, right next to the vein, being very careful not to enter the vein. Slowly inject your medication until a wheel forms, then remove your needle, activate the safety, and dispose of your sharps. You can now perform your venipuncture. You should enter the skin within the area of the injection, about one quarter to one half inch, for best pain relief. There are also needleless options that use a propellant to create a jet of medication that enters the skin. They're a great option for intradermal pain reduction, though they're not very cost effective, so your facility may not carry them.